All right, so let's work on um, actually solving some equations using our knowledge of um, uh, that the difference of two squares, you know, some number squared minus some other number squared uh, can be factored out like this um, as the product of a sum and a difference. That first number plus the second number times the first number minus the second number. Um, and then also knowing that if you take anything times zero, um, it is equal to zero. And if you take zero times anything, that is equal to zero. If we put these pieces together, we can solve these binomial equations in a pretty cool way. Um, so let's uh, let's just get started. Take you through the process here. So x squared equals 25. Now you can look at that and say, well, x is 5, um, and that's fine. But let me show you um, this method with this simple example, so you can kind of see the process so that when the examples get more complex um, you know they'll, they'll make sense so you can look at this and say x is 5 you know uh, that'd be the principal root or or it could be negative 5 negative 5 times negative 5 um, is 25 so 5 or negative 5 um, but let me take you this pro through this process um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, is move uh, one of the terms over to the other side so uh, what, what we'll end up with is something minus something equals zero. And that's going to be critical for um, one of the last steps of solving this. Uh, but it's also critical so that you can see this as the difference of two squares. Um, so we could rewrite this as x squared minus 25 equals zero. So now this has the potential to be written as the difference of two squares. And in fact, all we need to do is x squared uh, minus 5 squared. Just call this 5 squared instead of 25. Okay, um, so now we've got the difference of two squares, which means that we can we can go this way and factor um, this as the product of a sum and a difference. So my first number is x, my second number is 5. So I could factor this out as x plus 5 times x minus 5 equals 0. Now why is that important? Well, here we've got you know something times something equals 0. So we, we want to solve this. What We, we, we want to figure out what value of x will make this equation true. So that if we take a value of x and add 5 to it, uh, take a value of x and subtract 5 to it from it, um, and multiply these things, they'll all equal zero. Well, anything times zero is equal to zero, and zero times anything is equal to zero, right? That means that I could set this whole thing to zero, and this equation is true. Zero times whatever this is will equal zero, right? It doesn't even matter what this is. If this is zero, then zero times this will be zero, which will make this equation true. Uh, likewise, I could ig ignore this and set this equal to zero because whatever this is, who cares what that is, that times zero will equal zero. So the equation will also be true um, in that way. So we can set each one of these factors um, uh, equal to zero and solve. So x plus 5, we could set that equal to zero um, and solve for x. And we can we can set this factor x minus 5 to 0 and, and solve for that. Um, so x plus 5 equals 0. Well, we're just, now that we're back into just classic algebra, right? Just one step. Um, isolate the variable. So x equals negative 5. Or um, x minus 5 equals 0. You know, let's isolate the variable. So we add 5 to both sides or x equals 5. So there's two possibilities. x will be negative 5 or 5, which is what we said at the beginning. You know, negative 5 squared is 25, and positive 5 squared is 25. So here are the two solutions to this binomial equation. Now, we can see those two solutions e even without doing, doing the method. But um, let's, let's try a more complicated example. Um, to see where where this could this could help.
Um, all right, so we've got 4x squared equals 36. Now, yeah, you could divide both sides by 4 and have um, x squared equals 9 and x equals 3 or negative 3. But let's take it through the process to show you this method. Um, so let's uh, first subtract 36 from both sides so that we can set this whole thing equal to 0. That's the critical part um, so that we can use our knowledge that anything times 0 equals 0, 0 times anything equals 0, which means we could set each of those to 0. Um, and solve. So now we've got 4x squared minus 36 equals 0. Um, now if we can write this as the difference of two squares, we can easily factor it. Um, so um, we could, uh, one way, to, I mean we could do, we could pull out the 4, we could do 4 times x squared minus uh, minus 9 equals 0. Let's just, well, I guess let's just do it that way. Um, and then 9 we could re rewrite as um, 3 squared. So now we've got the difference of two squares. So if we've got some number squared minus some other number squared, then we can rewrite that as that number plus the first number plus the second number times the first number minus the second number. So we can write this, make, you know, make sure you keep track of this factor of 4. Uh, so we could write this as x plus 3 x minus 3. Now we can set each one of these factors to 0. Because um, if, if this factor is 0, 4 times 0 times whatever is 0. If this is 0, 4 times whatever times 0 equals equals 0. So the equation would be true in each case. Um, so we've got x plus 3 equals 0. Or, or x minus 3 equals 0. Um, so x equals, so subtract 3 from both sides here to get x by itself. x equals negative 3. Here we would add 3 to both sides of the equation to get x by itself. So x So x is negative 3 or positive 3. Those are the, the two solutions to this binomial equation. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's try this last one. So we've got 9x squared equals 4. So first what we can do is um, subtract the 4 from both sides. Actually, let me switch colors. Because I have a feeling we're going to collide with some other problems here. Okay. Um, now, this looks like it's heading in the direction of being the difference of two squares. So we just need to keep rewriting it so that it is. This is um, 9x squared. Uh, just the x is being squared, so we're not we're not done with this this one yet. So we could write this nine as three squared. So this would be equivalent to three squared times x squared. Um, um, and if both of these um, numbers in the product are being squared, we could rewrite this whole thing as three x squared like that, because this would mean three squared times x squared, right? So we've rewritten this part. Now let's let's rewrite um, this part. So four we can write as uh, two squared um, equals zero. And in this, this case, I mean, by the way, you know, the method we're using now is a, a lot easier than um, doing it another way. You know, you could have thought maybe divide both sides by nine. We have x squared equals 4 ninths, but then the square root 4 ninths, you know, that could be unnecessarily complicated. This, this could be a better way. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be impossible, but... Um, Alright, so now we've got the difference of two squares. Now let's factor it. So my a is 3x, and my b is 2, a, b. Um, so we could we could factor this as... Um, so a is 3x, so 3x plus 2. 
uh, times 3x minus 2. Now we set each of those to 0. 3x plus 2 equals 0 or 3x minus 2 equals 0. Either one would make the equation true because 0 times something equals 0, something times 0 equals 0. So here we need to isolate the variable. So first we'll subtract both sides of the equation by 2. So we've got 3x equals negative 2. Now we want to uh, get that 3 out of there, divide both sides by 3. So um, x equals negative two-thirds is one possibility. Alright, then this, over in this the other equation, we'll add two to both sides. So we've got 3x equals two. To bo uh, divide both sides by three to get x by itself. Um, so x equals negative two-thirds or x equals um, positive so two thirds or negative two thirds um, are the two possible are the two solutions to that binomial um, equation.